Sussex strike back as Glamorgan crumble. Sussex and Glamorgan had to wait until late in the day to get their match at the first central county ground up and running, and when they did, it was the hosts who found themselves in all sorts of trouble. Travis Head and then Daniel Ibrahim did what they could to dig them out of a bit of a hole. Ibrahim resumed with Jack Carson, his latest partner, but it wouldn't be long before Sussex were eight down. Carson out without scoring, bowled by Hogan. Despite the loss of his partner, the precocious Sussex talent was impressing once again, and it wouldn't be long before he picked up his second first-class 50 in as many matches. What a start to the 16-year-old's fledgling career. Stuart Meeker has played 92 more first-class matches than his young partner, and he did what he could to push the score further, taking the total to the cusp of 200. But he wouldn't be able to see them pass the mark, caught in the deep as he tried to pick up the six needed to get there. Mitchell Claydon announced earlier this week that he'll retire from cricket at the end of the season. Nothing left to prove for the 38-year-old, but plenty still to give. His first contribution was to seal Sussex's first bonus point. A final six from Claydon took them to 226, and that's where Sussex would finish. Ibrahim the last man to go, down the wicket to the spinner, and he kept on walking. Sussex will be delighted with their recovery, at 1.96 for 6. Daniel Ibrahim's 58 had provided the backbone for a late order fight back, and an effective one too. Bonus points added, when at times they'd looked likely to collapse for under 100. Hogan and Van der Hoekten both ended with three apiece. And the joy continued for Sussex when Glamorgan got their innings started. 16 on the board when Cook had to go, LBW to Mika for 6. They followed it with another, Claydon with the second of the innings, Ingram surprised by the bounce and caught behind. Root and Lloyd added 20 quick runs to the total, Glamorgan too shy of 50 at lunch. It wouldn't be long before the Glamorgan pair brought the 50 up and they started to look at ease. The two played their way to a 50 partnership too, 100 runs now not far off for the Welsh County, but that's where Sussex struck again, Mika produced a beauty to see the back of Lloyd. Carlson and Root steered Glamorgan to three figures, but it wasn't easy going out there, and the curse of the Nelson would strike. Carlson out to Claydon for 17. Root looked in good touch, 30-odd runs to his name, and he looked the most likely Glamorgan bat thus far to stick around. But he too would fall, this time to Van Zyl, struck on the pads and given out LBW for 37. Cook and Douthwaite avoided any further damage to their innings in what remained before T. They played their way to within a boundary of 150 runs, still 80 behind Sussex, and with half of their wickets already gone. The pair found the 150 they were looking for early in the evening session, but not long after, Douthwaite was gone, caught in the slips off beer, and Glamorgan were now six down. Jack Carson made it seven, pulled for six by Whale at the start of the over, he recovered to remove the captain Cook with the final ball. And then Beer got revenge for his spinning colleague, Whale out in the next over, bowled for 21. Van der Hoekten couldn't hold on for too long either, another wicket for Carson. Hogan and Salter were the last pairing and took their side to 200 runs, Sussex's total now not too far away. But they'd finished the day sooner than they'd hoped, still trailing by 21 with the score 205 for 9 when rain swept across Hove to bring the close forward. This one is still delicately poised though, Yorkshire with just one wicket in hand, they'll hope to overturn that deficit on day three.